All right, everybody, welcome back to Channel Dad Brian Lape Reads. And I cannot believe my eyes. This I saw this on Twitter. I had to find it. I've been meaning for hours to cover this. So I apologize for getting being so late. Sweden's in the news again. Um that they had the right idea all along. Oh, I'm surprised. So this is in the New York Post of all places. So who the World Health Organization lauds lockdown ignoring Sweden as a model for countries going forward. Now, it is interesting. This is in what to do now. Okay. So um for those of you who haven't figured out uh, with Sweden, and there's been a lot of misinformation, a lot of people scared out of their mind about Sweden. Sweden did do some version of a lockdown. Okay, they did. They took. They basically did the quarantine the way you're supposed to. They took people who are at the highest risk and they sheltered them. People who were sick and they sheltered them. So when people started to show symptoms, they they sheltered them away. Now a lot of people complain about the deaths in Sweden, but I can guarantee you over time those numbers are going to start to equalize because the countries that locked down all they did was delay when more people will die it's all they've done and as herd immunity starts to come about uh they and more and more people get exposed there's going to be more death it's just going to happen this is what happens with these type with any of these types of illnesses and all this stuff okay and i mean there's still people dying of aids and a lot i, mean, I saw some numbers on different things that i you know this was a big thing in the 80s and really haven't heard much of it since you know i guess the mid 90s or so but people are still over, I think it's a million people a year, if I remember correctly, worldwide, which I, I, I was flabbergasted. So uh, the World Health Organization lauded Sweden as a model for battling the coronavirus as countries lift lockdowns. And so the controversy, I love that it says controversial refused restrictions. Now, they did do some restrictions, but they didn't do anywhere near. I mean, Ireland is just insane what they're doing right now. I mean, when they come out from hiding, Ireland's going to get ravaged, guaranteed. Well, I shouldn't say guaranteed. It, it just, it's going to happen and it's going to be unbelievable. Uh, the who's top. Okay. So Dr. Uh, Mike Ryan, is that the guy? Is that, that's this guy right there. Um, the world is a who's top emergencies expert uh, said Wednesday that there are lessons to be learned from the uh, Scandinavian nation, which are largely relied on citizens to self-regulate. I think there's a perception out that Sweden has not put in me uh, control measures and uh, just not allowed the disease to, and has just allowed disease spread. Nothing can be further from there. And that is true. They did do some measures, but they did not kill their, their economy. They did a very data-based and, and I wouldn't say common sense, but, very um, measured approach to the, what they should have done. Um, Ryan noted that instead of lockdowns, the country has put in a very uh, public uh, policy around social distancing, around caring and protecting people in, in long-term care facilities. And this has a big, been a big problem in New York City and in other places in New York. So Blasio and Cuomo, are they, they just let it ravage through old age homes and other places. Unbelievable. Uh, what is done uh, differently is that it has very much relied on, on its relationship with its citizenry and the ability and willingness of the citizens to implement self-distancing and self-regulation. Regulate, and they also had an, um, they had capacity in their healthcare system because, you know, in many ways, because people don't go for every little thing like they do in the States. That was part of the problem in the States. Uh, and they are, they're not social medicine, by the way. And the country um, ramped up testing and had adequate ca capacity in hospitals, which I think many... When they, um, in particular, when they, they cut out some elective surgeries and stuff in the States, they, we have overcapacity now. We have doctors and nurses that are on furlough. Some have been laid off because there's no body there. I think you're ready to reach a normal, uh, new normal. Uh, Sweden represents a model in which we need, uh, wish to get back to a society in which we've, uh, we don't have lockdowns. Correct. We need to do this everywhere r tomorrow. Okay. And, and, and forget the stupid masks. The masks are killing people. All right. I know people are wearing them. The masks are not safe. Okay. Country has a population of, uh, and I wish that thing would stop come popping up. 10.3 million has been more than two, uh, 20,300 cases and 2,400 deaths. Um, you know, far, far higher than its Nordic neighbors, but their exposure rates are much higher. And when that starts to level out, you're going to see uh, it's going to be about it actually should be slightly better in Sweden than the rest of them. Uh, by contrast, Denmark has uh, 9,200 cases. So um, so uh, less than half the cases uh, and in uh, the deaths among 5.8. OK, so that goes on. We um, 
of course, there's always the detractors, the Cecilia Soberg, Soderberg, you know, these people, these uh, people who aren't treating anybody, these so-called experts, you can put that in air quotes, you must establish control over a situation. We cannot uh, head into a situation where we get complete chaos, which no one had complete chaos. Because I guess maybe in the early days in Wuhan, uh, no one has tried this route. We, we did this route every other time, every other time we followed this. Um, we did it with AIDS in the eighties. We know we, we, you know, isolated different, different things. We looked at the blood supply. There were, there were some contamination there. Mad cow. We did this with, uh, you know, N1H1. So we've done it with SARS, MERS, um, you know, bird flu, swine flu. Um, you know, we have done this previously this way. Uh, so why, why should we test it first in Sweden without informed consent? Um, uh, okay. So does this, does this go to the, I, I saw some arrows, but I didn't know if that was just pictures. Okay. That is just pictures. So this, cause this article just seems to end, right? And it says read next. And then it's just, it's just ads for other stuff on it, you know? So of course, even in the midst of, of good news and data, there's, uh, there's someone who's got to, um, you know, been by 2,300 academics. I don't give a crap what academics have to say about anything. There's a reason why they're not doing anything and pretending to teach and because they can't do anything. The research has shown Sweden did it right. Sweet, and, and that's, it, it's, it's already, I can't believe Sweden's made the news twice this week. Um, and it is moving forward. Now here in the States, we are starting to get, some states are starting to move forward. But the mass, I, I have posted so many articles about the, the deadliness of mass. I've had multiple healthcare, even early on. I know people who are nurses. I know people who are doctors. And they're all saying, number one, if it's not an N95, it does less than crap for you. Number two, it gives a, a you know, it should only be on medical professionals who are treating ill patients. That's it. Um, the PPE should not be anywhere else and all these cloth masks and all this, they do absolutely nothing. What they, they, well, I shouldn't say absolutely nothing. The only thing they're doing is to prevent someone from sneezing on you and coughing on you, um, directly. But it, that means it's going to be in that cloth. It's going to be and I'm like, if you were anywhere where someone is literally sneezing in your face, you have other problems and that's what you need to prevent. Um, if you have any kind of bronchial issue, you can exacerbate it if the um, virus, and not just COVID, if any, if any of the SARS viruses, a lot of these viruses are still going around, but people have immunity to them. But you could get a, a reinfection, you can get triggered, because lots of times these things sit semi-dormant and, and they need something to trigger them. And you breathing in your, your out, exhaled CO2s and other things like that, it can trigger these things t- to be active. And um, it it's just absolutely insane to be wearing these masks like people are don't wear them in your car don't you know and, and it's basically when you go into an area that has a high public you know if you're going to be close to the public and that's the thing too there's also another study that uh, just came across it's showing how it's almost it's extremely rare someone's getting it from outside i forget what the percentages are but the huge vast majority is indoors mostly the home so there you go well anyway uh this article, like I said, this article just seems to end. Um, but you know, I think Sweden did it right. I think Sweden did a very tempered approach, very science-based approach. They didn't panic. Let's see if I can get it down here. And um, but I know people are going to disagree, so that's fine. Have it in the comments below. But um, you know, this is absolute insanity that's happened, and I, I don't know how many decades it's going to take to recover. Uh, the coming depression is the worldwide depression is going to kill more people than the virus. And uh, that's going to be really sad. So, so let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for stopping by. And sorry to take so long to get this out, but uh, I'll try to be better next time. All right. See you. Goodbye. But I do need more output. Man, this thing's getting ridiculous. <clears throat> it's air down here. I don't know what to do about it. All right. All right. Three, two, one.